My name is Eli Eisenstadt. I am the CEO and founder of BeatShare, and you are watching Eye on Business. Hi, my name is Barry Lieberman. I'm president of BeatShare, and you are watching Eye on Business. Welcome to Eye on Business Innovation, where we look at innovative companies, innovative people, and their innovative products. Today, we're very privileged to have with us Eli Eisenstadt and Barry Lieberman of BeatShare. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. So tell us a little bit about BeatShare. How did this get started, and where are you now? Yeah, so I went studying abroad in Spain, and uh, it was after Chapman University. And, uh, you know, I was sitting in the metro one day, and I was listening to music, and I was thinking, you know, there's no good way to send portions of music to other people. Okay. And, you know, I had these songs stuck in my head where these emotional connections with other individuals back home. Yep. And I wanted to express that and take a picture of what's happening right now, me studying abroad. Okay. And, you know, I looked, I looked, and there wasn't a way to do that. So I set out, and I said, okay, I'm going to create a company where this is going to actually happen. And that was the birth of Beach Hair. Okay. That's where the idea came in. Now, where is it today? You've come through quite a journey in the last year or so, right? Yeah, it's been, it's been <laughs> quite a journey. It's been a good one. We, uh, we went to Launch Labs okay. at Chapman University, yeah. and uh, there we... We, you know, formed our team more. We brought yeah. on Barry Lieberman, yeah. who uh, is now the president of Beach Air and has been a beautiful addition. Okay. And, uh... Now wait a minute. Be I don't know about beautiful. Brilliant, I'll go with. Beautiful, <laughs> we'll have to discuss it. Hey, got his... <laughs> right, right. But, uh, we then entered the Keith Am uh, business plan competition, yeah. Chapman. Uh, and we ended up winning that, which was yeah. great, which launched us into California Dreamin'. Yep. Yeah where we got second place and now we just closed our, our seed round and so we're, we're moving full force forward. Sounds good. So yeah. Barry, what, how, when did you come into this and what did you see that attracted you to the so, company? So, I came into this as a mentor yeah. to Eli and, and he was working on his presentation for, even it wasn't even for the business plan yet, it was just for presenting to investors and was sitting there watching the present him go through it and immediately looked at it and said, well, this could be something big. Yep, okay. And you could see there was a gap in the market and that this was well thought through. And, and I looked at it, especially when I saw the user interface and I thought, this is beautiful. This thing's really, you know, it could be a home run. Like, okay. Okay. And so the next thought was, okay, how do we make this, you know, presentable? How do we focus it on, you know, what are the right markets? You know, how, to, how could it be monetized? And just we started meeting on a regular basis. Okay. And then these series of presentations that Eli got invited to as well, you know, investors, the competitions, et cetera, we just kept working together on honing the presentation, but also talking about, well, how do we make this business work? How do we turn this into something? What are the next steps? And we've just formed a great relationship where we can spend time talking about these things. We enjoy talking about it. We have a good time. Um, we work well together. And I thought, let's just make this a little bit more formal and get a little more involved. Okay. And what I like to do is, you know, form businesses and, and get them going and, yeah. and, uh, and put the team together, and that's right where we're at. It's exciting. Good. So you guys are off and running. Now, let's back up a step, though. Tell everybody about your demographic, because it's a little different than the average. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So our, our target demographic is 14 to 18-year-old individuals, okay. primarily female. Okay. And this is Generation Z, right? Generation Z, okay. <laughs> and the interesting thing about Generation Z is that they spend on average eight plus hours a day on their smartphones oh God, purely for entertainment. For right? entertainment, okay, well so, I can't claim that. So. Yeah, this generation is really active on social media. Okay. And, and three plus hours of their day is spent listening to music on streaming <laughs> services. You shouldn't be telling this to all the parents. <laughs> yeah, right, so it's a we little know. bit scary, but <laughs> we know. That's, that's the demographic we're after. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, I live I, this. Go ahead. I, 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 
sorry to interrupt, but I lived this. I mean, I have a daughter who's in that demographic. So okay. it was the other things that attracted me to this is I thought, wow, this is, I, this is my, my life. Okay. You know? <laughs> sorry to so hear. It was, it's also that, you know? And you think of it as also parents, okay, is this something that would be really cool for my daughter, you yeah. know, to get involved with? So, and well, my take on Beach here is that if you like music, and if you like, you know, communicating with your friends, then you should love beat share. Is that kind of what you're going for here, is communication with music? I mean... Right, right. So, you know, music's always been the most expressive form or the most expressive medium, yep. right? I mean, going all the way back in history, so, yep, you know, okay. the Gregorian chant, the national <laughs> anthem, <laughs> right? You have music... I actually remember when those were... <laughs> when those were applicable. Yeah, well... Maybe Woodstock for you, huh? <laughs> no, but it, it's that's always been, it's always been, you know, something that's been prominent uh, yep, with yep. humans, right? And we see it as the most expressive form. It's something that you attach emotion to, more so than, than text, than pictures, than video. Yet, it's just not been implemented well into this okay. social space. But you so, actually put those together, right? So you add Beach Air and the music snippets to a photograph or to a text. So right. it's not an either or, it's... Both right. Hand, right? That, that's exactly correct. Right. You, the user, the user chooses a song. Okay. They select a five to fifteen second snippet of that song. Then they can add either a photo, video, or text as a okay. supplementary medium, okay. and then send it to one or many of their friends. Okay. Right. Now, what comes next for you guys? You're, you've been, you know, going rapidly down the rails here. So, what, what happens after we leave the studio here today? Well, right now, the main focus is to build the product. Okay and keep iterating it in front of audiences, test okay. audiences, okay. Okay. Um, some of which is your help facilitating an event that you have coming up at Chapman. 180 high school students. Which is our target market, so yeah, it's an opportunity amazing. for us to have the next iteration of the app in front of them okay. and keep getting that feedback, making sure that what we're doing is something that they're not only going to like but use over and over again and tell their friends okay. to use over and over again. Okay. And while doing that, so it's moving the product forward, doing the user testing, and it's also starting to build that swell, trying to get those people as advocates, but also start getting it in front of the right people who can give us, again, more feedback, but also once as we bring it to market, they're going to advocate it further. And at the same time, get in front of uh, the target um, models of monetization, the okay. target customers. All right and see what they think. Okay. But the beauty of it is that we can monetize without ever talking to those target markets by using just the current channels of click-throughs and affiliations to make this thing work from the start. Well, now, I'm sure some of our viewers out there are wondering, how did this young guy get this far this fast? I mean, how have you managed this with everything? You're still a student yourself, mm. and so how is all this juggling in your life going to this stage, given that you're riding this rocket ship? Well, you know, at, at first it's a lot, right? At first it's all too much, it's scattered, you know, things are moving too fast, yep. it's completely out of control. And, you know, what I've learned is to surround myself with people that are older, have more expertise, okay. and can okay. fill gaps that I don't have, okay. right? And that community that we built that then becomes the team is what's really helped me excel it forward and bring a collaborative spirit to the company okay. where okay. individuals can then take up different parts of the company okay. to keep moving it forward okay. at that fast rate. So if you were to give, if either of you actually were to give advice to other entrepreneurs out there based upon what you've experienced, either with Beach Air or other things, you know, what are some of the words of wisdom you might want to pass along? Well, the number one thing for me is it's got to stem from a passion. Okay. If, if you're going out there and you're, you're trying to think of a problem to solve and then create a company, you're not going to be able to push through those long, grueling days or yeah. those hard yeah. meetings because there's nothing there that resonates with you. Yeah. For, you know, for me, it was an idea that came out of a feeling and an emotion. Okay. Yeah. And so I think the number one thing that I would say to individuals is, is have the idea, have the business stem from an emotional connection within yourself. Okay. Okay, interesting. Now, Barry, from your perspective, what do you see? I, I agree with that. I think the foundation is you have to have a passion. Yeah, yeah. The second thing is, you have, well, a passion for, you know, the idea and the concept yeah. and vision, but you also have to have a passion for learning because okay. it doesn't matter at what age you're doing this yeah. or what level of experience, it's going to be a different ride, and you're going to have to work with others, and you have to build a team, and you have to collaborate. And if you can look at it, that, that every single moment and every single person you meet is an opportunity to learn and set your own ego aside but work hard on the vision, 
then that's what's going to really move you forward. I think that's one of the things I would compliment, I would compliment Eli so much, is like he said, he surrounded himself with, with people who can help complement and, and grow this and, and look at it as a team. Yep. And, and I think that's where so many times things happen, is that there's, there's too much of a strength of, well, this is my baby, as yep. opposed to, yep. this is going to be a family. It's going to be a business. You're going yep. to build a community. And that's where the next passion has to be. And the most important of this thing is that passion to learn. When you have that passion to learn, then everybody, then it becomes more collaborative because you look at everybody as another place to learn from. So let's go a layer deeper on that. You guys have talked about collaboration several times. You're obviously engaged in that with each other. What's the, the highs and lows? What works and doesn't work when you are trying to collaborate, when you've got you know, time pressures and money pressures and everything else here? You know, the, the great thing that I learned you know, working with Barry, and I think that's been a successful thing for our teamwork, has been putting everything on the table, having open dialogue. Okay. And it could be bad. It could be a hard conversation that you don't want to okay. have. It could be something fun. But if you put everything on the table okay. and are honest okay. with each other, then you're able to get over those humps okay. and have a trustworthy relationship. Okay. So that's been, that's been a key factor. Uh, what do you think? I would compliment that by saying that each person you bring in as you build your team has to be somebody who can fit into that culture. Okay. It won't okay. always be pervasive all the way down as the company grows and creates layers, but at the leadership level, you have to be very careful about bringing in people that you think you can sit in a room with and get an argument with you know, and, and, and work through it all. And that, you know, there might be an ego in the moment, but you're going to walk outside and you're going to, you know, go get a drink and a bite to eat because you're just hashing it through. Yeah. To me, the, the, the most important key to success is the ability to debate a point from all sides and, okay. And, okay. and have the openness amongst each other to do that, even when it's, there's an, emo it's an emotional point. Yeah. And by being able to do that, you'll find that you're always going to find an ending. It may not be the, the right ending for or what or things may happen with the business it may make a mistake but everybody can live with it and move on because they were part of it and and it was a, again that that community okay. and so many businesses you know don't have that and that's I think if you look at the best businesses that's what the leadership's been able to form well, you guys have been great about sharing the inner workings of the company and so forth but I also want to give you a chance is there anything we haven't asked you about Beach that you'd like to share with our audience anything else about the features of it or What's coming next? Well, we're, we're really excited that in the, uh, in the fall, we're going to be releasing it on okay. iOS to the public. Okay. And so look for, look for BeatShare on the okay. App Store coming this fall. Okay. And how would they get in touch with you guys for more information? So if you go to BeatShare.me, www.BeatShare.me, okay. uh, you can there sign up for our Alpha Build, which is out okay. right now, beta testing. Okay. And then also you can uh, contact us via email. Well, fantastic. Gentlemen, we're going to have you back when we see what happens in the next chapter or two. We want to follow the dramatic arc of Beach Share, frankly. So, really want to appreciate uh, having you guys on the show. Great. Thank, Thank you, Shan. Thank you, Shan. Thank you, Shan. you, Thank you for again. inviting us. Appreciate it. You bet. Take care. Thank you. You have been watching Ion Business Innovation. Thank you.